Hi everyone out there. This is a teeny tiny little practice. If you don't have a lot of time, you wanna get out of your head and into your body, get into feeling and breathing and moving. I'm gonna go straight to the point and just practice. So start at the top of your mat and you can have your feet hip distance or your feet together. Select whatever feels the most grounding for you in this moment. Bring your palms together. Press your palms, but also at the same time, imagine you're pulling them apart. Then actively root from your pelvic girdle down through your legs, spreading out through your feet and into the earth. And see if you can feel like a rebounding of that press into the earth, back up through your body, up through your spine, up into your heart. Even like a spaciousness up through your brain, almost like your feet branch out into the earth and your brain reaches and branches out into the atmosphere. Then close your eyes just for a moment and get clear on why you're practicing in this moment. What do you want to dedicate it to? What's your intention? And let whatever intention comes be it. Now take a deep inhale, like you're inhaling through your nose, down through your legs, and into the earth. And when you exhale, imagine the exhale climbing up through your spine and creating more space and length out through the crown of your head. We'll just do one more like that. So inhale down into the earth. You're burrowing your inhale into the earth. And as you exhale, exhale up through your legs, up through your spine, and out through the crown of your head, creating a sense of buoyancy. Bring your arms by your sides, and as you inhale, sweep your arms up. And as you sweep your arms up, press your feet down into the earth. And as you exhale, cast your heart forward as you slowly swan dive down. You can bring your hands to your shins or fingertips to the floor. And then just bend one knee and then another knee. And do it slowly so you can really feel every little micro movement. Then take an inhale and halfway lift. Elongate through your whole spine. Now as you exhale, micro bend your knees, bring your hands onto your waistline, cast your heart forward and slowly rise to stand with a long spine. Inhale, reach both arms up, press your feet down, gaze up. Now exhale, pick your left foot up off the floor, step your left leg, your left foot behind your right. So your left toes land off your mat towards the right. Then press your palms together, reach up through your fingertips and slowly begin to bend your torso towards the right. Now as you inhale, come back up to center, step your left foot beside your right foot, and then press through your left foot, pick your right foot up, glide your right leg behind your left leg, right tippy toes to the floor, off your mat to the left, and then stretch, squeezing through your left side to open your right side, arc up and over. Inhale to come back up to the center, and bring your feet together, and as you exhale, swan dive all the way down. Take a halfway lift, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly step your right foot back, sink your right knee to the earth. As you inhale, rise to low lunge. Pull your feet towards one another. Find a little hug in at your waistline, but not so much that you can't breathe. Still the breath has an effect through your belly, so your belly expands as you inhale. Begin to cactus your arms. Feel the hug of your shoulder blades onto your back body. Flex your left foot, glide your pelvis back, but as you do so, cast your heart forward. Keep pulling your feet towards one another as you reach your fingertips back. On your next inhale, step into your left foot. Press through your right big toe and big toe mound and then slowly lift your right knee up. Keep the magnetism between your feet, a little hug in of your waist to create like a fountain through your heart. So your heart like fountains <laughs> towards the sky. Slowly bring your hands down. 
press into the earth, round your spine, and step to down dog. And down dog, lift and spread your toes, micro bend your knees. Just really work to get your feet super active. When your toes are spread as wide as you can get them, then tack your big toes down. Spread your pinky toes farther away from your big toes and then see if you can tack your pinky toes down. Notice how this activation channels from your feet all the way up your legs. On your next inhale, lift your heels and slowly round forward into a rounded high plank. Squeeze your front body to your back body. As you exhale, pivot both heels towards the right, bend both knees, press your left heel to the floor and keep your right heel lifted. Another side body stretch. Draw your outer left hip back. Squeeze your outer right hip up towards your lower right ribs. Claw with your fingertips, press your hands down and forward and it's like you're curling your heart and your gaze towards the top of the mat. Let's take a few deep breaths into your left side body. Really let your breath, like I said, expand your belly. On your next inhale, round forward, rounded high plank, squeeze your front body to your back body, press into the earth, and then pivot both heels towards the left. Bend both knees, keep your left heel lifted, and it's like you're carving down through the knife edge of your right foot and right heel into the earth. Squeeze your left side, so outer left hip draws up towards your lower left ribs. Draw your outer right hip back. Claw with your fingertips, press your hands down and forward and curl your heart and your gaze forward. Then big breaths. Massage through your body with your breath. On your next inhale, round forward, rounded high plank. Now as you exhale, bend your knees. Begin to arc through your spine. Curl your heart and gaze forward as you bring your knees then your chest and your chin to the floor. Pause here for a breath and imagine that you're breathing your heart into the earth, just like we were breathing our feet into the earth. Untuck your toes, root through your hands, lift your pubic bone up towards your navel and slowly unfurl your spine forward so you come onto your belly. Press through your toenails, lift your hands up, Lift your pubic bone a little bit towards your navel and lift your heart as high as you can. Feel the warmth that you're generating and try to like cozy into that warmth. Sprinkle your fingertips to the floor and then slowly begin to peel yourself up a little bit higher into a cobra on fingertips. So only go to the height where you feel no compression and you, can, you can feel you can really breathe. Slowly lower your heart back down, plant your hands, tuck your toes, and glide back as though you're going to child's pose. But don't go to child's pose. Imagine that you're <laughs> playing with somebody and you're going to pounce on them. So this is a, like an active child's pose. On your next inhale, round forward through hands and knees. And as you exhale, press into down dog. Root through your left foot and inhale, reach your right leg high. See if you can keep your right pinky toe pointing down towards the floor. And it's like you're lifting your right leg from the inner seam of the leg. Press your hands down and forward as you extend through your right toes. Breathe into your whole body. Imagine you are um, some kind of flotation device, so every single breath affects every single part of your body. Round forward, touch your right knee to your right tricep, root into the earth and squeeze your left thigh. Inhale, glide back, three-legged down dog. Try to smooth your breath and marry movement to your breath. Exhale, round forward. See if you can touch your right knee to your left tricep. Inhale, glide back, three-legged down dog. Exhale, round forward, and step your right foot to your right thumb. Come on to left fingertips, squeeze your left thigh, reach your right arm up and gaze up with your left eye. Take an inhale. As you exhale, 
Slowly bring your right fingertips to the floor. Press into your right foot and step forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Bring your arms wide to the sides. Curl your heart forward and inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Root to the earth, root to the sky. Exhale, swan dive all the way back down. Halfway lift, inhale. As you exhale, press into your right foot. Pick your left foot up and slowly step it back. Sink your left knee down and when you inhale, magnetize your feet towards one another and rise your torso up. Exhale to really let yourself land. Create softness through your face, jaw, and the soles of your feet so it's like they spread and you can make a stronger connection to the earth. Begin to cactus your arms. Claw the air with your fingertips. Flex your right foot, glide your pelvis back. Curl your heart forward, and then finally reach your fingertips back. Breathe more space across your collarbones. On your next inhale, glide forward, root into your right foot, press through your left big toe, lift your left knee, and rise into a high lunge. On your next exhale, really let your feet land. Get earthy. And take one more inhale to press more firmly through your feet and expand up, buoyancy. When you exhale, bring your hands down, round your spine, pick your right foot up and step to down dog. Okay, now give your body the gift of a sigh, of a simple sigh, even if you don't feel like you need one. Just imagine stored tension that you might not even be aware of gets released when you just have a sigh. So take a deep inhale breath. Really fill up, fill up your back space. And as you exhale, let something go. <sighs> feel the after effects of that sigh. On your next inhale, lift your heels, ripple forward, rounded high plank. Lovingly hug your front body to your back body. Pivot both heels towards the right. Bend both knees, root your left heel, stick your butt back, reach your heart forward, look forward. Inhale, round forward, rounded high plank. Exhale, pivot both heels to the left. Bend both knees, press your right heel down, reach your heart forward and stick your butt back. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, slowly lower knees, chest, and chin. You're gonna stay here for a couple breaths. You have the option to reach back with your hands, interlace your fingers, cross your thumbs and release your index fingers. Then lift your hands away from your bum. And imagine really like slingshotting your heart into the earth. Untuck your toes, place your hands beside you, lift your pubic bone up towards your navel and slowly unfurl onto your belly. Lift your hands, lift your heart. Take an inhale. Exhale, sprinkle your fingertips to the floor. Lift your shoulders a little up towards your ears. Tuck your chin towards your chest and then press down through your fingers as you peel your belly up a little bit higher. Take an inhale into your chest. Expand across your chest. And then when you exhale, Slide your shoulders back. Let your heart drip forward and elongate up through the roof of your mouth as you reach back through your toes. Let's take a few breaths here. Connect to the massage of the breath. Okay, take one more inhale, grow longer, longer, brighter. And when you exhale, slowly melt your belly back down. Place your hands beside your ribs, tuck your toes, press your hands down and forward and glide back into this pouncy child's pose. On your next inhale, round forward, hands and knees. And when you exhale, glide into down dog. Press through your right foot. And as you inhale, reach your left leg high, lifting from the inner seam of your leg. 
Just check to see that your left pinky toe is pointing down towards the floor. And just take a few breaths here. Noticing where you're feeling the sensations of opening. Notice where you feel the sensations of activation. And just support everything with your consciousness, observation, and breath. Take one more inhale and grow longer, longer, longer. And as you exhale, lift your right heel, squeeze your right thigh around forward. See if you can touch your left knee to your left tricep. Inhale, slowly glide back, riding on the velvety texture of your breath, three-legged down dog. Exhale, round forward, and just see if you can touch your left knee to your right tricep. Inhale, slowly glide back. Exhale, round forward, and step your left foot to your left thumb. Come on to right fingertips, squeeze up through your right thigh, reach up with your left arm, gaze up with your right eye, and then reach back through your right heel and curl forward through the back of your heart. Expand across your chest and out through your fingertips. Circle your left fingertips to the mat at the top, press through your left foot, pick your right foot up and step forward and fold. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Stay folded here, interlace your fingers behind your back, bend your elbows, hug your shoulder blades to the midline, and then keep an activation through your biceps as you move your hands away from your lower back. Let your head really drop. Now also let your feet really drop. Imagine that when you let your feet drop, your feet are like puddles and they expand, making more contact with the earth. Now for just about two more breaths, bring all of your awareness to breathing expansively into your belly, into your organs, into your pelvic girdle. With every exhale, let there be a let go through your spine. Slowly release your fingertips to the floor, take an inhale and halfway lift. As you exhale, flex your feet, pivot on your heels, turn your toes to the sides, stick your butt back. Woo. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot out here. <laughs> and come slowly into a squat. Your heels can be lifted. If it's too much to squat, you can just sit onto your bum. If you're comfy in the squat, bring your elbows to your inner knees. Press your knees to elbows, elbows to knees. Press your palms together, but simultaneously imagine you're pulling them apart. Now, just for about two breaths, see how fully you can expand the breath into your organs and into your pelvic girdle. Like a soothing massage, a breath massage. Now we're gonna round out this squat, so slowly begin to Come down, bring your fingertips to the floor, walk them forward. You can let your head drop and now breathe into your back body. Breathe so deeply into your organs that then that breath overflows into your lower back, middle back, upper back, even the back of your neck. See if you can feel like a spreading through the back of your heart that you're creating with your breath. This overflow of breath. Slowly sink your bum to the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. Now press the four corners of your feet together just like you're, you're pressing your palms together. Press your feet together. 
bring your thumbs into the arches of your feet and just do a, a few little like presses through the arches of your feet. Now when you press through the arches of your feet, you can just be like press, 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 press. See how fully you can feel the effect of your, your pressing or your touch. After a few of those, keep pressing the soles of your feet together. Then place your hands to the fronts of your ankles. Pull back with your hands. Then begin to hug your shoulder blades towards the midline to create a little more space through your chest. Let your pelvic girdle really drop. And then your spine to grow up and out. Take a deep inhale. When you exhale, cast your heart forward, just like a swan dive. Cast your heart forward, keep hugging your shoulder blades to the midline, keep elongating through your spine. Go longer, 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 longer. Now here you can choose your own adventure. <laughs> well, I guess you can always choose your own adventure. <laughs> but you can stay holding on to your ankles, your feet. You can continue to elongate forward. Or if you're feeling more of like a surrender and a round forward, you can do that. If you want, you can walk your fingertips forward. So just let yourself explore different positions within a position. Now, gear your awareness to expansive breathing. And breathe into your organs. Imagine that every time you breathe into your organs, like really deep and full, it's like you're, you're cleaning off your hard drive. Little by little, you're like deleting files that you don't need. So anything stored inside, you're starting to just gently clear and clean and cleanse. With every exhale, feel gravity more and consciously let something go. You might not know what that something is, but just set your intention for every exhale is like, ah, I'm letting go of something. If your arms are forward, you can begin to walk your hands back. And Use your hands on your outer knees to bring your legs together. Bring your hands behind you with your fingertips pointing away from you. And then just begin to glide your knees from side to side. Keeping it just very simple. <laughs> then place your feet to the floor. Reach your arms up. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly begin to curl down onto the floor. Try to really take your time and infuse your intention as deep as you can into your core. Not to fire it up so much that um, you can't breathe, but the opposite. To, even though your core is working and you feel heat and some challenge, to still continue to expand your breath in through your belly into your organs. Okay, once you curl all the way down, also be slow about curling your head to the floor. Feel for a moment the back of your heart, like just like the soles of your feet were puddles. Now see if you can feel the back of your heart like a, like a big warm puddle on the floor, on the earth. Spread your arms out like wings. And consciously let go, consciously soften. Let any tension that you're holding be noticed. So especially that habitual tension, like I hide my tension in my face, big time. My jaw, so where is your hidden tension? Be 
Begin to glide your feet in towards your sit bones and pick your feet up off the floor. Flex your right foot. Keep your right foot really flexed as you cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Also flex your left foot. Keep, keep your feet like on board, on line. Then bring your hands, your right hand through or under your right calf. Interlace your fingers over your left shin and just begin to gently pull in but as you pull in, also press your right leg into your left thigh. Then anchor your sacrum into the floor. Then see if you can spread the back of your heart and shoulder blades also into the floor. And then come back to your deep belly breathing. Remember, every exhale is like a like a like a sigh, like your body sighing something out. Now, see if you can feel any sensations, like like your body is purring, <laughs> like a cat, but maybe not as loud as a cat. But can you feel this, like any kind of warm, tingly sensations. Okay, keep your right foot flexed as you uncross your right ankle, and then switch, flex your left foot, cross your left ankle, bend your right knee, interlace your fingers over your right shin, and then press your outer left leg into your upper right thigh and with that slowly melt your sacrum down into the floor keep that and then spread the back of your heart in a yummy way into the earth okay now breathe into these points of foundation so your sacrum the back of your heart and even the back of your head. Imagine with every breath, you're becoming more rooted through these points. And with every exhale, as always, a let go. See if you can consciously let go out of the areas of tension or the sensations of opening that you can feel. With every exhale, let go of something. Also, if there's anything in your life right now that you're struggling with, that you're having a hard time um, processing or, or letting go of, bring that into your awareness right now. With every exhale, try to find a little let go. Okay, one more inhale. Exhale, sigh. <sighs> Release your fingertips, untangle your legs, bring your arms and your legs up. Now relax your ankles, relax your wrists, relax your toes, your fingers. Okay, we're gonna do a little shake. So <laughs> when you shake, imagine that, imagine what it's like when you're shaking out a an actual rug. It's like a dusty rug. It's got like little... <laughs> I won't go too much into detail with what can, what could be stuck in the rug. <laughs> but imagine how vigorously you shake the rug to get the dust out. So do the same with your hands and your feet. You can start with your feet. Get a spicy, vigorous little shake going and then add your hands. And who cares what it looks like? But go more into the feeling of it, like you're trying to get the dust out. Go hard and fast. Of course, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> okay, we're going to go hard and fast for 10, 9, 8, 7, faster, faster, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And stop and be still. Then take a deep inhale into your belly. Fill your belly with breath. And sigh. <sighs> 
Take happy baby. I either grab hold of the fronts of your shins. Do that if when you bend your knees and you have your feet, your sacrum lifts up off the floor. Hold on to the fronts of your shins. I actually like that, this, this grip, because um, I like to anchor my elbows into my inner knees. So you can give that a try, holding on to your ankles. Anchor your elbows into your inner knees, and this widens your knees apart, but simultaneously flex your feet, and then hug your knees in a little to the midline. Then spread the back of your heart to the floor, spread or press your sacrum into the floor, and and find or keep the activation through the soles of your feet. So you're spreading your leg lines. You're making more space through your legs all the way up into your pelvic girdle. Imagine even that the spreading of the soles of your feet assists you in relaxing through your belly so you can really expand the breath there. And with every exhale, I'll let go. With every inhale, a conscious massage. As deep as you can reach with your breath. Okay, release the grip you have of your ankles and bring your legs together. Interlace your fingers. Let your arms go straight. Find a little squeeze in of your forearms into your outer legs. And then really drop it's like you're dropping now your tailbone in the direction of the earth but not using a muscular energy just let gravity take more of your butt towards the floor okay check in again to see if you can feel any kind of body purr <laughs> And if you, if you feel this warm, cozy sensation, nuzzle into it like, like you just found the coziest blanket and you're just going to wrap yourself in it and, and relax or nap or be in such comfort and coziness. Okay, slowly spread your limbs to the floor for a little rest. Of course, you can extend this rest if you feel you need a longer one. Bring your feet at least as wide as your mat or wider, arms away from your torso. Really spread your body out. So visualize again, you're a puddle and you're just expanding. Ask your body to drop any residual holding or tension allow yourself to feel really truly like honestly where you're at and see if you can support yourself by just allowing yourself to be where you are at as you lie here and rest, try to fold yourself deeper into those cozy sensations. And imagine that the more you focus on them, the more they spread. Imagine that these cozy sensations are, are contagious. And so eventually, they'll spread through your entire body. See if you can lie here until you can feel these warm, cozy sensations evenly spread through your body. And once they are, it's like if you were a loaf of bread, which you're definitely not, but if you were, once the coziness has spread through your body, it's like 
the timer goes off and the bread is baked. So really listen to your body and let yourself stay here until you're baked. <laughs> I'm going to leave you here. Thank you for doing this little simple but yummy movement practice with me. And I hope wherever you are, whatever time of day, you have a beautiful rest of your day. <laughs>